For Jesus and his disciples, it had been a long day and a long week. Word was out that this carpenter from Nazareth seemed to have the power to heal the sick. And everywhere he went, the crowds went too. Yes, Ethel, the guy's name is Jesus. And all he said was, take up your bed and walk. Yes, Ethel, I know it's the Sabbath and bed carrying is not allowed. <laughs> no, Ethel, I don't care. For the first time in 38 years, I'm walking. <laughs> I'm telling you, Morty, I saw it with my own eyes. This guy cures everything from cobbly wobbles to iskitty biscuititis. I bet he can even put the kibosh on my mother-in-law snoring. Was blind, but now I see. <laughs> the excited throng pressed in on every side, relentless in their determination to see Jesus, to hear Jesus, to touch Jesus. It was a rock concert in the park, and Jesus was the star of the show. Unfortunately, no one remembered to bring their picnic baskets. And even the ants in the grass were getting hungry. But that's when Jesus received some very bad news regarding his cousin, John the Baptist. Sad and exhausted, they slipped away from the crowd to have some time to themselves. They hopped on a boat and rode their way to the hometown of, of Peter, Andrew, and Okay, more growing! <laughs> <laughs> 
did they escape the crowds? Did they find a quiet place to share a meal? Not by a long shot. Word had spread through all the neighboring towns, and 5,000 fans were waiting on the shore when they arrived, all with empty bellies. Jesus, these people haven't eaten all day. We'll surely have a riot in our hands if we don't do something. You want me to feed them? Yeah, right. For an encore, I'll walk on water. <laughs> And that's when the little boy with the basket arrived on the scene. And as he walked by, Andrew noticed that the basket had food in it. Here's my lunch, Jesus. It's only five little loaves of bread and two fish, but I'll gladly share it with you. I know what you're thinking. The disciples were thinking it too. But after Jesus blessed the loaves and fishes, they did what he told them to do. They shared them. And sure enough, 5,000 people suddenly had a picnic, and the ants did too. If everybody shares, there will always be 